Well, hi guys. Uh, I did not get any video yesterday of doing this. Mainly because this new camera, uh, it had to fritz or something. Uh, it wouldn't take more than two minutes worth of video and it shut down. But, Brad, you at Larson Valley Farms, you'd ask to see this. And I wanted to get it before, you know, but... I uh, used a 13 foot straight cut head on a John Deere combine and that's eight of these 20 inch rows and you can kind of see I run the head right on the ground and this is what you end up with this would be about where the tail end is there's some corn on the ground and that's to be expected with you know that much material 13 feet of material going through it and it's kind of damp on top of it so but i did this because all these in rows especially from where i'm standing out there really wasn't much corn and they were those small nubbin ears and as you guys know small ears especially on the older machines, they get ground up in the corn head. And that's why I did this. Uh, down here, there's a few ears laying on the ground. Uh, can't be helped the way I'm doing this. <coughs> Take a little drive. Give it a little look-see here. Uh, the ground is frozen somewhat um, less than ideal conditions to say the least but I got it done on oh, Monsieur Hawk this is still soft for sure But when you get into corn that's thin like this and pretty well picked through, like the end of the field was down here, well, a lot of these small ears will not go in the, through the machine. They're going to get ground up. Uh, I hope I don't get stuck here. But I made two rounds around this five and a half acre field. Uh, there was nothing in these two rows up, two rounds up here. Uh, this wasn't so bad. you kind of an idea of what things are looking like here. There's not much on the lower end of this field at all. Uh, the far end down there where it was wetter, there's nothing to speak of. So, kind of what you see is what you get. Of this end I ran oh three rounds on this end cutting across crossways on it and it actually fed into the combine better this way than going you know with the rows uh, but it's like, kind of as you can see here, uh, well, you know, you can't get it all. But I figured get more 
than average and you're better off but you know there's a lot of ears like this they're just stripped there's one stripped um, stripped 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 they're everywhere uh, and it's, you know it's going down being knocked down everything else but uh, this is what it looks like coming out the back end and yeah there are ears laying here but you can't you know you can only do so much uh, this is kind of in that damned if you do damned if you don't so you just got to try it and just hope for the best uh, this area here two rounds around that five and a half acre field to strip up and the ends there might be 65 bushel 70 bushel in the combine uh, you know it literally is what it is uh, this would be great to no-till in next spring if you were going to no-till but I'm going to plow this under it's going to get worked up uh, yeah so this is a little what things are really looking like now no rainbows or unicorns to this this is what it is um, would I do this whole field with a grain head no I did what I did because literally from where well right here this whole end of corn looked like this right at this it does so run it uh talked to my crop insurance guy this morning uh he pulled this ground up on a satellite map and he said you've got a lot of deer damage more than you probably think you do because he says i can see 12 deer in this photo so you know when you got this nice big woods next door and you've got my woods over there and i've got the only cornfield for a mile in any direction they're coming here for dinner <laughs> so guys i'm gonna get off here uh i'm changing the combine over to put the corn head on it so we'll see you next time and as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, it is what it is. And like I say, you can see lots of cobs sticking out just like that. Nothing on them. So we'll see you next time, guys.